being able to buy the luxury vehicles and stuff like that, it'll come. But that's not something that you need to be doing as soon as you get in the military. I'm not spending $160,000 on a car. My house cost $160,000. I'm not spending the house on a car. Y'all ain't even been in that long. Where the hell are y'all getting all these leave days from? Hell, who's approving this lease? Stop giving people who aren't helping you work your job your money. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another video. It's me, Andrea, and would you look at this? I'm not shooting a vlog, y'all. This is not a vlog. This is one of those cute little military videos I used to make a little while back. Y'all remember those? If you were OG, you remember those. I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title of this video. I am going to be talking about why new soldiers are broke, okay? Not only new soldiers, but airmen, sailors, marines. Why new people coming into the military, whether or not that's commissioned, whether or not that is enlisted, why y'all broke? No, why we broke? Why we broke? Because some of the things that I'm about to talk about, I am guilty of, okay? And I have since learned from my mistakes. Before I get into that though, I wanna go ahead and introduce myself. I am Andrea Siobhan or Sarn Augustine and I am in the United States military active duty for the last eight years. So over here on my channel, I talk about a few different things, but mainly lifestyle, career, beauty, faith, um, and education. And now that I am honestly just jumping from school to school to school at this point, not not jumping from school to school to school. I have a bunch of different things going on. I recently got accepted into nursing school, so I'm definitely gonna be taking you guys on that journey with me, being a nursing school student in my 30s, married with kids. So go ahead and come along with me on that journey. I'm doing an LPN to RN track. I'm also an LPN. Hey. And I also am an RT. I'm a respiratory therapist, y'all. I'm a respiratory therapist. So yeah, like I said, I got a lot of stuff going on over here. So I'm always in school for something, but that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. As you can tell by the title, I'm talking about why our new soldiers today are broke, okay? And I did make a little list. I was bored today, so that's the reason I'm doing this video. And I'm in uniform. I'm usually in skirts, but I'm in uniform today, so yeah. I did buy some shrimp from Panda Express. Um, I don't know if I'm about to be trying to eat it while I'm doing this video because when I be trying to do a little mukbang or eat or whatever, my mouth just be drooling a little too much. And then I can't talk. I'll be having ugh, one of those type of deals. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump to the video. So the first thing I put on the list is y'all be doing too much way too fast, okay? The priorities when y'all come out of AIT do not be in the right place. And I'ma just say that right now because mine wasn't. Y'all try to rush and get cars. Y'all trying to rush and buy houses and get the nicest apartment apartment and do all of these different things that I feel like y'all seeing these military influencers do and that's not what y'all need to be worried about right now y'all coming out of AIT coming straight into the military whether or not you're commissioned whether or not you are enlisted this is not the time to be trying to live your best life it's not the time to be living your best life it's the time to be getting acclimated to the army or the the name whatever you're whatever you're coming into it's your time to be getting acclimated into the military getting used to the culture the the the, the terminology the the way things work the day-to-day -day, the battle rhythm that is the time now personally it's not the time to buy that new car it's not the time to start buying luxury bags it's not the time to go out and try to get a high-rise apartment with the florida ceiling windows it's not time to be doing any of those things okay so y'all just be doing a little too much too fast and i'm gonna need for y'all to sit down slow down back up for a second and listen to what i'm about to say so other than student loans because student loans is one of those things that can be handled with a different type of program but other than student loans i feel like your main priority when you're coming into the military should be paying off your pre-military debt okay if you come in with car loans house loans or any type of credit card debt any kind of like finance in the furniture electronics or whatever the case may be i feel like any type of pre-military debt that's what y'all need to be focused on, okay? That is what y'all need to be focused on. Pay off all of that. Make sure you calling up the companies if y'all have an interest rate that's over 6%. Make sure y'all calling like, hey, I'm now in the military, even for the reservists or the, the 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 National Guard. Call up like, hey, I was on basic, I was in basic on active duty as of that date. All of those interest rates that's over that 6% need to be coming down to 
at most 6% or lower. I say that because the earlier you start getting a good foundation when it comes to your finances, finances is so crucial. Finances is such a big deal. Hold on y'all real quick. I'm about to get up on my soapbox. Finances financial health is so 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 important and i feel like it's one of those things that is really overlooked when it comes to all the other health physical health mental health spiritual health whatever the case may be i feel like financial health okay financial health is one of those things that you really have to be on top of because i don't know and maybe somebody out there know what i'm talking about but when your finances are not right and you're not where you need to be financially or you live in paycheck to paycheck or you broke because i've been there ain't nothing funny about life ain't nothing funny don't crack no jokes around me no it's not a good day don't don't tell me have no it's not a good day your finances when you're in a bad financial situation that is going to be the downfall of a lot of people because that's a stress that is hard to deal with because that's a stress that nine times out of ten you bring upon yourself and only you can get yourself out of it unless you're going to file for bankruptcy and stuff like that because again y'all i had to do that i filed for bankruptcy back in 2021 if it's certain things that you need to put into place so when you're coming into the military making sure you're building that strong financial foundation is the most important thing that should be your bait your main priority when you're coming in to avoid being one of these broke soldiers that i'm talking about while you are in the military you're obviously going to be accruing other debts you're going to be want, you're going to want things okay you're going to want things and it's only natural for a lot of you guys it's going to be the first time you're making money for a lot of us it's going to be a uh, more money than you've made in your entire life to be completely honest you can debate in the comments about that if you want to i'm just saying certain people come from certain backgrounds and this this organization the army means different things to different people all i'm saying is you don't want to start piling debt on top of debt that you could have gotten rid of just spend the first few years getting rid of any debt that you have because the more debt you pile up the more expensive your life is going to be and wanting to have that little influencer social media lifestyle yeah that's going to go out the window because your life is going to be too expensive to even maintain you're going to be lit but you're going to constant you're going to stay living paycheck to paycheck and you're going to stay being a slave to jobs and stuff even when you get out because why you are making your life more expensive than you need to make it okay don't be doing too much too fast and focus on making sure your financial foundation is steady and strong before you move forward with anything else okay anything else okay so the next thing i wanted to talk about y'all i'm trying to talk fast because i got my camera sitting up here and i don't want it to overheat it's gonna overheat but anyway when you step outside how much of your money are you wearing on your body shirts pants shoes jewelry lashes nails hair like how much of your money are you wearing outside because to be completely honest a lot of y'all spend way too much money on that stuff again i say that because i was one of those people getting y'all lashes done i was getting my lashes done listen side note unless you have that memo or that profile you shouldn't be having your lashes done anyway anyway a little tint maybe but uh, look it ain't my business you ain't my soldier anyway lashes are expensive getting your nails done are expensive i don't know if y'all been following me whether or not that's here whether or not that's on instagram i stopped going to the nail salon i do all my stuff at home i'm actually heading home after this so i can go ahead and put another set on but when i say my things look good press ons all day and i learned how to do them and make them look really real and i kid you not it's been six months and everything that i bought from amazon has been hold like i haven't had to spend money on getting my nails done because i do my own pedicures manicures all of that stuff I do that at home why because every two weeks i was spending about 200 dollars when it comes to getting my toes hands done plus a tip that's just too much money so i started doing it myself so if i know that i was spending way too much money i know that y'all spending way too much money and then y'all that be getting y'all stuff done once a week why why for the guys that like to step out on the weekend why y'all listen okay i ain't gonna even say nothing about the shoes because that's some 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 of y'all have collections i can't say anything about collections because i have a pretty sizable fragrance collection so i can't knock it but i feel like y'all go overboard everything can't be a collection you can't have a collection of 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 jewelry you can't have a collection of 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 shoes then you turn around and have a collection of fragrances then you turn around and have a collection of handbags like like at some point y'all gotta take a break 
okay y'all gotta take a break y'all wearing too much of y'all money and it shows okay it shows when you try to go to the store and you can't even buy what you need you have to put it on after pay and make payments because you wearing all your money and it's not in your account okay brings me to the next point i wanted to make why y'all buying these luxury bags hmm these luxury bags and purses and jewelry and stuff that y'all have to put on afterpay and now you have $38.99 coming out of your account every so often and you can't even you can't even clock it you think you got a little $30 to hold you over for the next few days and boom here they come taking it on top of all the other subscriptions and stuff that y'all have why I'm gonna tell you right now I bought one luxury bag in my entire life that is authentic okay it was a one of the small never fools because why do why why do we always feel like we need a never fool who knows i bought it second hand so it was used and it was twelve hundred dollars and again it was a small one ask me how often i use that purse now because not not that often i thought no where do i even know where it is i remember having this bag and i'm thinking you know i'm thinking um I'm that girl. I got my little never fool. I got my little Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. No, because then when my soldiers came back from Korea, they had the never fools that was bigger than mine and they looked as real, as, as authentic as mine. And you mean to tell me you paid a fraction of the cost that I paid? Listen, no. I'm not endorsing or condoning buying replicas or buying fakes and stuff like that. I'm just saying, won't be happening again. I won't be doing it again. And all I'm saying is, I remember saying at one point, if I was in Korea, I wanted to go to Korea because I wanted to go shopping. Because everything in Korea they got is fake, but they look real and I want some. So if you're in Korea, hit me up. I'm just playing. Anyway, stop putting handbags on after pay. Buy, buy, buy down, pay later. Stop doing that because that is keeping you broke. On top of why y'all getting these luxury cars? Why do y'all have to have luxury cars? Listen, I, 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 on the side, I work as a nurse, right? And when I was working my side job last time I was here at the duty station I'm at currently, I was making an extra three to five thousand dollars a month. Three to five thousand dollars a month, okay? So to the point, I really didn't have to worry about my paycheck. And that be, and, and that money was going towards like savings and stuff like that. On top of having two kids, on top of at the time my sister was living with me, on top of just trying to get myself financially back where I need to be after if I happened to file for bankruptcy and stuff like that, right? So having the extra money that I had at that point, I was making a decent amount of money because again, all of that was on top of what I'm getting paid in the military. Base pay, BAH, BAS, cool. I still wouldn't have dreamed about buying a Mercedes. Now, my dream car is a Mercedes, but is it okay to have a dream car and not have any desire, any ass admiration, any type of motivation to buy it? I'm not spending $160,000 on a car. My house cost $160,000. I'm not spending the house on a car. Why do you have a Mercedes? Not only do you have a Mercedes, is that a high interest rate? Then you turn around and it's a older car where in 2024, you're buying something 2020, 20, 2022, 2021, 2020, 2018. I saw somebody with a BMW, y'all, that was a 2010. She bought it just because it was a BMW. Why? Why? I know what it is. You just want to be able to take a picture of your steering wheel with your Starbucks and stuff like that and post it on social media because you want other people to think that you're something that you're not. Trust me, when I say being able to buy the luxury vehicles and stuff like that, it'll come. But that's not something that you need to be doing as soon as you get in the military. It's not. Especially if you're doing it because you see a military influencer doing it or you want notoriety on, on social media. Do not do it. Why? Because that's keeping you broke. <laughs> it's crazy because y'all get these luxury cars, right? With these super high payments, super high interest rate. And because of the type of car it is, now y'all have super expensive insurance. And I know of a few people right now who's not paying their insurance or that luxury vehicle because insurance is too high. So you couldn't afford the car to begin with yet you decided to purchase it. Okay. Another thing that's keeping y'all broke is y'all don't have a plan for y'all money. Y'all need to have a plan for y'all money. And I say this because this was one of my main issues. Every single time I go to the grocery store, every single time I go shopping, every single for the house, for myself, for personal things, for clothes, uniforms, things for the kids. Every single time I go out to spend money or I'm online and I'm spending money, 
since I don't have a plan or a certain amount that I had dedicated for that specific purpose, I'm spending way more money than I need to. And that's one of the things I started noticing a lot. Like, okay, I just went grocery shopping, but throughout the week, I'm still spending all of this money at work to eat and stuff like that. Why? Cause I'm careless at that point, but you need to have a plan for your money because if you can have a plan for your money, that means you're paying more attention to how you're spending your money. And nine times out of 10, you're going to be looking at things like, why in the world did I do that? Why did I purchase this? I spent this much money in Walmart. Why? I spent this much money at the PXY. Did I really need to buy those three fragrances last month? I did not. You know what I'm saying? So you need to have a plan for your money. So those little sporadic shopping sprees, stop happening next point i wanted to make is y'all have to have savings y'all have to have savings and i say this because this is honestly the reason i had to file bankruptcy i'm gonna be completely honest when things hit the fan i didn't have enough money so here's the thing i had money in savings but i didn't have enough money in savings because i'm thinking oh yeah i got a few thousand dollars here i got a few thousand dollars there i should be good but after going through what I went through and going through financial classes and stuff like that, I'm like, oh dang, I definitely didn't have enough saved. I should have had six months reserved in my savings. I needed a separate, complete separate savings for emergencies, specifically things like that. Because when COVID happened and things hit the fan and everything started going haywire, yeah, that little money that I had in savings, it went on down real quick. It went away real, it, like it was there and then it was gone y'all really really need to save something like y'all need to have some type of savings that way if something was to happen and something were to hit the fan you're not having to go and 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 go get these loans and go and constantly take out these aer loans even though i would prefer you to take out an aer loan before you go out there and try to get a high interest rate from these people that's out here don't do that but the other point that i wanted to make with that whole situation invest in your tsp please 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 invest in your tsp every time i got a raise every time i got promoted i raised the amount that i was putting into my tsp so i think i made it up to like seven percent or something like that i was either putting seven or eight percent in at one point but here's the benefit to that and this is just me and maybe i wasn't doing things the right way i don't know but one thing that i absolutely loved when i started working on my financial literacy when it got to the point where i needed to take out a loan i didn't have to go to AER and I didn't have to go anywhere else. I was able to take out a small little loan from myself. One, not saying that I'm all that prideful, but I was able to save myself from the embarrassment of, of not having money. Cause let's be completely honest, being broke is embarrassing. We all go through it. So I don't understand why it's such a taboo and shameful thing, but it's still really embarrassing. So I like the fact that when I needed to be my own bank, I was able to do that. I think I think at one point I took out 2,000, another point I took out 4,000, another point I took out like 1,600, but I was able to pay that money back. And after six months, if you need to take money out again, you're able to do that and you're paying yourself back. It's literally like you're taking out a loan, but you're the bank, if that makes any sense. And so that's another benefit that I saw from the TSP and I felt like it was very valuable to invest in my TSP because of that reason. If I need to get, up, get out of a jam, I have that money right there because I've been investing so invest in your TSP and if all those fails at least when you get out you have something there that's waiting for you or you can switch it over and continue to invest and just do the things that you need to do but just invest in your TSP at least up to the matching point at least up until what the military is gonna match us that that's free money that you're leaving on the table if you're not at least doing that so I'm gonna throw another one out there that I'm guilty of and that's eating out and not just going out with friends and stuff like that and just eat this why did I have to spend $15 on this? And apple juice. So I spent like maybe $17 on this. Yeah, about $17, about 50. Let's see, let's round it up to $20. I spent $20 on this when I could have went home and got some food to be completely honest. I could have went somewhere cheaper. I didn't have to have this yet, yeah, here I am. So I still got some working on myself to do. God is not done with me yet, okay? But this is what I mean by eating out. It's like those little things, stopping by the drive through real quick, stopping at Starbucks, Starbucks is a big one for us in the military why because it feeds into that aesthetic right we go and get the sushi we go and get the starbucks we go and get the dunkin donuts it feeds into this aesthetic that you know we want to have the luxury cars starbucks getting your nails done this whole soft life grind i don't know what you want to call it but it's just that look that people want to go for that i feel like feeds the reason why we are still broke because i'm telling you this stuff adds up like Imagine if I was to get like three or four of these every week for the past six months. 
it's going to add up so much so eating out is expensive going out is expensive and that feeds back into not having a plan for your money because for me before i had again the financial literacy that i have now or the habits and stuff that i'm still working on now every single time i go out the door i'm having a mini little shopping spree who told me to go and spend this much money in ross who told me to go and spend this much money in burlington who told me to go spend this much money in tj maxx nobody i just decided to all these fragrances that i have in my house sitting on my rack yeah i decided to go to the px and pick up another fragrance who told me to do that nobody try to stay in the house sometimes going outside is expensive i feel like it's an average of like 450 dollars every time you step outside to be honest so i could be wrong but i did the math so I mean, I'm not that good at math, but I did the math and I feel like that's right. Stop putting stuff on credit cards. Stop putting stuff on that, um, what is it, that star card? Especially if it's not a necessity. Every so often, there's nothing wrong with that. But the phone, for the ones that are doing it all the time, and you're not even trying to pay a little bit over your minimum payment, stop, stop. That's keeping you broke. That is keeping you broke. And especially with that star card, I don't know if y'all know this or not. All across the board, everybody has a 15% interest rate on that star card. I called, I asked, I'm like, why is it so high? She said it's all across the board. That's what y'all can charge for, right? So stop putting so much money on that card and letting it just sit there. Me, personally, I'm saying this because I learned from my own mistakes, okay? I learned from my own mistakes. When I say I got so sick and tired of paying off this um, star card, it drove me absolutely insane. I'm finally under a thousand dollars. And once I'm done paying it off, that's it. Don't ask me if I want that 10% extra off when I go to Starbucks to get my pink drink. If I use my star card, cause I don't wanna use it. I don't wanna use it, okay? It's there for emergencies, absolute emergencies if I need it. Like if I was to really get into a real bad like jam and I like need it, I needed something, and I know I can head on post real quick. That's what I'm going to use it. But other than that, I'm I'm chilling right now. I'm good. But stop putting stuff on y'all credit cards because that's not only messing up your financial situation, but it's messing up your credit, which is going to... Listen, don't even get me started about credit because when I say I clawed my way out of having... My credit score was a four... 450 at one time one point in time i can't remember exactly it was in a 400 i was taller than my credit score okay but i clawed my way i wrote the letters i did the things that i need to do to fix my credit and that's why i was able to buy a house that's why i this is my second new car i just switched i just traded my new car and this is my second new car because i'm trying to make good financial decisions at this point but all i'm saying is stop putting stuff on credit cards just stop just stop i thought we all knew that though but stop i feel like i hit on this point a few times already but I need y'all to stop trying to live like influencers. A lot of the stuff that y'all doing, a lot of stuff that y'all buying is based off what y'all seeing these influencers do. And you just don't have it like that. Because y'all trying to do stuff that people are doing when they're getting paid to influence you to do these things. And you go out and do what they did for free. Y'all go and buy these things, but they're getting sent for free. Y'all go and spend all this money to do, the, to do these things, but they're getting paid to do these things. And you're like, you get what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Y'all doing these things to try to live like influencers. For example, why y'all going on all these trips? First of all, y'all ain't even been in that long. So where the hell are y'all getting all these leave days from? That's my first question. How who's approving this leave? And do y'all not want leave for like block leave or like, do y'all not want a few in a tank to just make sure just in case you needed it for some type of emergency leave or like, no, because y'all just, y'all really, y'all be on vacation and y'all be on vacation like y'all retired. Don't nobody go on vacation more than y'all brand new to the military be going on vacation. It's not that much Cancun in the world. I'm, I promise you do not have to go on vacation every month and it's keeping y'all broke I, w I was watching a reel the other day and he said something like why y'all buy new clothes to go on vacation because the people that's out of town ain't seen your new your old clothes or something like that he's not lying he's not lying because we all have a habit of buying all new clothes to go on a a trip 
that we already have perfectly good clothes for in our closet if we just go and look yet we buy new clothes not only are we buying new clothes y'all gotta buy a few new pair of shoes i'm not saying we this time because look i don't even be going nowhere but y'all be having to buy new clothes new shoes y'all gotta go and get y'all nails done everybody gotta get the braids okay everybody gotta go and get their vacation braids then it's you it's, it's the most on top of that y'all using y'all leave days so when it comes time for y'all to actually go on like vacation you know block leave if you want to go like on a little birthday trip if you have like a red cross message you know come through and you gotta head out real quick like y'all don't want yeah like y'all y'all losing two times there stop just sit still sometimes you don't have to go somewhere every single time just 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 chill out chill out it'll come that should not be your main priority coming into the military and the last most important thing that i want to talk about stop giving people who aren't helping you work your job your money why are you giving your money i'm talking about family with their hands out because in the military everybody has this idea or this preconceived notion or i don't know where they get it from that being in the military you make so much money you're gonna learn we don't make that much money for people to be just be handing their hands out asking for money and you definitely don't have enough to just be giving it to them and nine times out of ten it's not even for a very important reason they just want it because they think you have it and because you have a little bit of extra change you should be able to just give it to them anyway no mm -mm. Mm -mm. when you out in a motor pool all day from 0 6 30 in the morning to about past 1800 in the afternoon doing layouts for change of command is 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 your auntie out there is your uncle twice removed or whatever the kid are they out there no no they're not when you out in the field for them three to four days at a time sometimes even a week or longer are they out there no they're not when you pulling them 24 hour staff duty cq shifts are they there no so if they're not helping you work your shift with you why are you giving them your money no i'm so serious now don't get me wrong because i help out my family too but i help out the family that i feel like is actually contributing to me being successful for example my grandmother to be completely honest without her i wouldn't have made it to this point i'm at now and she still continues to contribute by helping me with the kids if i need some money and stuff she's always going to be there even when she don't have it my aunts my aunts just took care of my kids for the past two years while i was able to go and get a degree and get this big bonus and pay off even more of my bills and meet my amazing husband and just enjoy my life and understanding it to learn myself outside of being a parent because it's something that i was never able to do people like that right my mother who is willing to go and get my kids bring them no matter where i'm at she's willing to go and get them bring them to me so I can spend even a few days with them and take them back where they need to go so I'm not having to uproot and move myself around and put too much stress on myself those those are the type of people I'm willing to help it's because my siblings call like hey I need this you don't have to help them um I need this no you don't and then the other thing that I wanted to mention when y'all go into these birthday trips these birthday dinners whatever the case may be and I'm sorry cuz I'm stuttering at this point I'm trying to hurry up but this is the part that pisses me off don't feel obligated to get your friend a luxury gift I don't know who made these rules and why this is even a thing but just because your friend have nice bags and have nice shoes and have nice her nails are always done her hair is always done if you're the friend you're expecting your friends to bring you luxury gifts to your little birthday bash you're not a good friend and you don't deserve friends i'm gonna be completely honest why do i have to buy you a $1,300 bag, $2,500 bag, a $450 wallet, a, a, a bracelet that costs about $600. Like, why do we have to show up to these functions with luxury gifts? What happened to getting a little gift card or something like something that's actually meaningful? Maybe a little fragrance here and there. Like, what happened to that? If you are, and this is just coming from me, this is just coming from Andrew Shabam. If I don't know you like that, and you decided to invite me to your birthday bash because I'm a friend of a friend. Don't expect me to buy you anything. I'm actually get a, a card. I might get you a card. But if you thought I was even gonna buy you a fancy lip gloss, no, no. And that's another reason. Stop giving y'all money to these people that's not doing your job for you because nine times out of 10, it's a good chance these people invite you places because the expectation now is that you have to show it with something not only do you have to show it with something it has to be something of, of of value something luxury no so what these people do 
is they try to invite as many people as they can to these little events, whether or not that's a dinner or a trip or whatever the case may be, just so they can rack up these gifts. And I'm not going for it. Don't invite me. All right, y'all, that's all the points that I wanted to make. My camera overheated a few times, but we made it through. I'm hoping this video wasn't too long because I really was trying to make it as quick as I possibly can, but we already know how that go. If you like this video, make sure you like it, share it, subscribe. If you have any questions or if you have any other things that's keeping these new military soldiers, sailors, whatever the case may be, what's keeping us broke, leave that down below because I might make a part two. Okay, I might make a part two. And don't forget to subscribe. Y'all, I'm on a road to 10K. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know with y'all help i can make that happen at least if this is the second video if this is the second time you're seeing me subscribe why not subscribe but i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye